Greeting and welcome all. I am Sasi Reka, Junior Training Officer from Government ITI, Perumbakam, Chennai. Today we are going to discuss about spanners. So the main objectives of today's class is define spanners, types of spanners and specify spanners. Spanner is a common tool we use in our day to day life. In mechanical field, we find spanners in any toolkit or car carriage and automobile workshops also. Spanner Spanners are hand tools used for fastening and loosening nuts or bolts. They are made of high tensile or alloy steel and also made with drop forged and heat treated for strength. Now let us see the main types of spanners. Open end spanner, ring spanner, combination spanner, adjustable spanner and socket spanner. First one is open end spanner or double end spanner. The open ended spanner is the most common type and may have a single or double end. The head has its jaws offset by about 15 degrees from the run of the shaft. So the spanner can be turned over to engage different flats of a nut when working in confined spaces. Next one is ring spanner. As the name implies, the ring spanner usually has a completely enclosed head and may have 6 or 12 flats. A ring spanner can be inserted into a more confined space. It has the advantage of contact with all 6 points of the hexagon. Ring spanners are stronger than the open ended type but it does need access to fit it over the nut and can take a little time to locate it correctly. Next tool is combination spanner. One closed loop heads for hex or square nuts and one U shaped head. For difficult nut closed end loosen the nut and open end quickly unscrew it. Next one important tool is adjustable spanner. Most common types of adjustable spanners are similar to open end spanners but they have one movable jaw. Spanner can be adjusted from 0 to 28.5 mm. Adjustable spanners may range in length from 100 mm to 760 mm. Next one is socket spanner. The socket is one of the fastest and most convenient of all the spanners. Use a driving mechanism similar to a ratcheting wrench. It allows adjustments without repositioning wrench. In socket spanners, its accessories includes swivel socket, socket handles and socket extension bars. Here, the swivel socket helps the user to turn fasteners at an angle. Socket handles are the speed handles used during turning also it helps in turning rapidly. Now let us see specifications of spanner. Size of a spanner. It is determined by the nut or bolt it fits. In the metric system spanners are marked with the size across the jaw opening followed by the abbreviation M M. Length of spanners. Normally spanners have a length that is about 10 times the width of the jaw opening. As the fastener size increases, the length of the spanner will also increase. Now we have to ensure some things while handling spanners. The face of the spanner must be free from oil and grease. Do not use spanner as hammers. Always ensure that a spanner fits the flats on a nut perfectly. A loose fit will damage the nut and cause slipping. Where a nut is very tight, ensure your hand has a clear area of movement. The sudden release of a nut under pressure can lend to graced knuckles. So in today's session we have discussed about spanners and their types. I hope you all understand about spanners. 
see you in the next video thank you